Hello, my name is Dina Garcia and I'm here today to talk to you about the accessibility of nature and safety in nature as well. I am currently 16 years old. I am part of the BIPOC community. I am Hispanic to be exact and I'm also part of the LGBTQIA community. When I go into nature, I feel like I don't just only speak for me but for others. I want to feel at peace. I want to feel welcome, cozy in some way, and just be able to de-stress and let go of, you know, problems in the city world, in society, and just have a moment for myself. But there are times when I go into nature and you just feel this energy, this presence of people just looking at you and being like, why are you here? And it's like, I'm here to enjoy nature that Mother Nature gave to us. Um, and, and there's a lot of conversation of who's allowed to go into nature and who's not. That it's for a specific group and some people don't belong here. It shouldn't be that way. It should have never been that way. When we talk about public lands, they're called public lands for a reason. They don't belong to just you or you and me. They belong to the public. That's why they're called public lands. And and I feel like that's where it comes into safety. When it comes to that conversation, safety is is unbalanced. You don't feel safe when you don't feel welcome. And I feel like that's not okay. We should all feel welcome where we are. I've heard stories and I've seen it play out in real life. How unsafe the outdoors can be due to people and how the accessibility of nature is not accessible to our communities of color because of the conversations going on with some people and so I believe that public land should be open to not just you and me but to everybody no matter what background or where we are from because public lands are not just here for a specific group, but for everybody. And on that note, it should be safe. So we all feel safe going to these places because it's not a good feeling when you want to go just de-stress and go somewhere and just have a moment for yourself, yet you don't feel safe. That is not pretty. So come stand and join our conversation with Love is Keen so we can talk more about this. Thank you so much.